My name is Colby Sorrells. Uh, I'm going to be tying the copper crab. Uh, my book is Fly Fisher's Guide to the Texas Gulf Coast. This fly is meant to imitate a uh, copper spoon and uh, also meant to be easy to tie so you can spend more time fly fishing. A uh, couple of special products that are involved in it is the uh, UV polar chenille and copper. Uh, the UV I think makes a really big difference to the fish. I think they can see UV color and the other is a uh, silver doctor uh, black lace hen feather. Uh, that gives you the color of a blue crab which I think everything likes. So we're going to be tying the copper crab today uh, meant for redfish especially on the Texas Louisiana Gulf Coast. Okay, first thing you need to do, this is a Mustad 34011 saltwater hook. Be sure and sharpen this hook. Uh, they're not that sharp coming out of the package, so be sure and sharpen it. Then we're going to take and we're going to bend the uh, hook shank up just a little bit. Uh, not a lot, just a little bit there. Uh, I'm going to tie it with uh, regular Danville um, chartreuse colored thread. Take a few wraps up front with a jam knot. Then work your way back to about the uh, hook point length. Work your way back forward. Cut off the tag in. Apply just a little bit of uh, Zappa Gap, just to strengthen it a little bit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, small or extra small size uh, barbell weight. We're going to flatten it out. It's going to come out looking like a somewhat like a bow tie. It's going to add a little bit of weight back to the back. Going to make it to help it make kill up forward. So take our thread. We're going to put it back in our spot across from the hook point, and take it and do your figure eight wraps right in that spot. Get it in there nice and secure, and then take a couple three wraps around. Then we're going to work our thread back forward again. Once again, just a little drop of zappa gap on that thread. We want that. Uh, those eyes to solidify in that spot. I'm going to take a, a little bit of clown or bozo hair, whatever you want to call this, and uh, make a little group of it. Cut it off. Then take and grab a hold and pull out the excess little short hairs. You don't need those. You want them all to be roughly the same length. It's like hair hand stacking. Cut off the tag in. Just get it flat. I'm going to put it in, tied in right at the front, same place you tied in the thread. Work your way back with just wide wraps across the top of the eyes. You want to go all the way down to halfway the, through the bend of the hook so that that tag in is facing downwards. Come in and go ahead and trim that off about half an inch long. That, uh, if you've ever seen a guy using a saltwater uh, weedless spoon, they've all got a little pink tab, hot pink tab, and that's what that's meant to imitate. We're going to take a couple of feathers from our uh, black lace hen feather and just pull off a couple of them. Pull off the marabou part down at the bottom. We don't need those fibers. Tied in right back there at the same spot. And cut off the shaft of that. I'm going to take a pair of hackle pliers and we're going to hackle that right in that same spot at the back. That's meant to imitate the uh, the blue of a blue crab. Okay. Just pull those fibers back out of the way. Got a rotary vise, you can do the same thing by rotating the vise. Take and wrap, catch that feather, hold it in place, pull it loose or cut it loose, pull all those fibers back, get them out of the way, run the thread forward. We're going to tie in our UV crystal flash right up front. Going to do the same thing to it that we did to the clown hair, just run it back to it's right in front of where we tied in our feather. Run the thread back forward and then we're going to take and wrap it. Once again, if you've got a rotary vise, you can use the rotary vise with a uh, bobbin rest if you want to. I like to be able to pull those fibers back and get them out of the way. Just work it steady forward, one wrap after the other. Once you get up to the eyes, then you're going to take a uh, 
crisscross wrap with the eyes. Just keep it coming forward. Filling up the space, pulling back the fibers, back to the back. We're going to end up trimming most of that off anyway, but you want the appearance of bulk without actually having bulk. And uh, there's shorter materials than this, but uh, the polar chenille really gives you the characteristics that makes this fly come together and gives you the sink rate that you want to have. Just keep wrapping it forward. Right until you get up about a quarter of an inch or so behind the hook eye. Take and tie that off with your thread. Trim it off. Take another wrap or two just to pull all those fibers back. And then take and do a whip finish or two just to hold it in place. Take your fibers and pull the fibers out to the side or out to the bottom. And uh, we're going to trim those off to uh, about half an inch long, something like that. Same thing on the sides. You want to be able to get rid of that bulk. Here again, you just want the appearance of bulk, not actual bulk. Up on the side, up on the top side. If you've got a few fibers that stick out too long, nothing wrong with that. Just a, a general, general shape is what you're after. Once it gets in the water, those fibers are going to actually collapse a little bit and come together. Turn that down there just a little bit. Main thing is you don't want the bottom too long, otherwise it'll tend to make it try to turn over. Just make sure everything's good there. Okay, then we're going to tie in our blue hackle feather up front again, same thing we did in the back. Get that thread up. Okay. Make a few wraps there. Take your hackle pliers and we're going to hackle just the same thing we did before. Take it and wrap it around. Three or four wraps. Just want to give that nice silver Dr. Blue color that those uh, blue crab have. Pop it off take a few more wraps then we're going to take three or four strands of uh, copper crystal flash just gives it a different copper color than you had before don't get too many four will be plenty we're going to take those just cut them off and then we're going to make them half the size cut the loop off then we're going to wrap it around the thread to tie it in right there in, into the plate last place last tie in place right up top then just enough wraps to smooth off that head. Just smooth up the head a little bit with several wraps. Take it, take your whip finish tool or your hands, whichever one you like to use, and whip finish it off. Cut the thread. And a little bit of zap -a gap right up front. Check your length of your uh, crystal flash. You don't want it going much past the uh, point of the hook. And that's it. That's the copper crab that's meant to imitate a uh, copper spoon in salt water for redfish. Easy to tie, quick to tie, good redfish fly.